Hello everyone, I am really very happy to introduce this new course on parallel computer architecture. I am Hemangi Kapoor. I am a professor in the department of CSE at IIT Gauhati. My research area is primarily in computer architecture and mainly we concentrate on emerging memory technologies. And if you are aware that DRAM and SRAM are volatile memories, similarly we have non-volatile uh, memories also available. So my research group concentrates on how do we handle these non-volatile memories because they have very less lifetime. And hence we concentrate on the lifetime improvement and endurance aspects of non-volatile memories. Along with this, we also work in hardware accelerator design for neural networks. This course on parallel computer architecture can be taken by students and faculty from the departments of computer science, uh, information technology, electronics and communication engineering as well as electrical engineering. We expect a basic computer organization and architecture background to understand this topic. And uh, this course is also designed for people who have curiosity of how systems are designed and who are generally enthusiastic about computer systems. So you would now think that we have studied computer organization and advanced architecture course and maybe allied uh, courses related to this topic. So why another course on parallel computer architecture? Okay, but mainly all these other courses were concentrating on the design of single core systems, how they are organized and uh, the microprocessors uh, architecture, the ISA and related topics. However, uh, when we have several such computing nodes connected to each other, how do we use them to perform parallel applications? Because these days, the applications are going more and more parallel and also the hardware constraints are making us design multi-core processors. Most of the applications are nowadays going parallel. For example, if you think of weather forecast, it involves computing many aspects or interaction of many other components to decide the final outcome of your system. So similarly, even drug discovery, where you need to know the interactions of the various chemical compounds, how it will affect the person or the system on which it is applied. So overall, we have to interact many other inputs and all these will be parallelly computed through different algorithms, analysis and so on. Finally, clinical trials will be taken, some feedback goes back into the system. And so it is a very complex interactive system and iterative uh, design, which will finally help in giving you more approved uh, and improved drugs. Another application of parallel systems is 3D graphics animation. So definitely we are all very excited to see movies which show real life uh, 3D graphics. So even this is not possible if you don't have parallel programs written to handle them. Our day to day payments these days are happening through online portals. Definitely lots of parallel compute happens here as there is several interactions between different modules coming to a common system which makes this happen seamlessly for us. And the most favorite of the young generation is the gaming applications. And if you see, you have real life experience of all these games. And to do this, again, parallel computing and parallel architecture is the foundation. So all of these things run either on uh, GPUs or data centers and cloud servers and so on. So this is the infrastructure on which all these parallel applications are going to run. So with these applications, I am sure you are thrilled that we do need a system which can run all these exciting applications for us. So that's why we need to understand how they are working on a system. When I say parallel application, it is essentially a big application divided into small parts which can run on different computer systems. It is not going to run on a single core system, but all these parts will run in parallel on multiple processors, either on the same processor or across different connected computer systems. Now, when one application runs across multiple systems, it has to talk with each other. That is, they need to communicate and coordinate the activities. They are going to share data. They are going to modify the shared data at the same time. And we have to make sure that the output does not depend on what is the type of actions happening. So in the end, we need a correct output to come in spite of the different speeds at which these applications could be running on the different servers. 
So this course on parallel computer architecture is divided across modules. Every module is made up of several lectures. These modules will span across 12 weeks. Regularly, you will be given assignments which will help you understand the concepts and apply your understanding to the given set of problems. So the main topics which we are going to cover in the course are given on this slide. So we are mainly going to first look at the introduction of parallel architectures. So this will be a foundation type of an understanding and also a motivation behind why we need this subject. Then we are going to quickly do a recap of the memory hierarchy followed by cache coherence which is the main problem we are going to handle in this subject. Cache coherence is handled using two different varieties, one is a snoop based and one is a directory based. So we are going to look into the depth of these two things followed by some real uh, world case studies. Then we will look at memory consistency models and synchronization issues and how to implement it. Finally, we are also going to look at interconnection networks. So these are the networks which are going to connect these different computing nodes to each other. So overall, we are going to learn how a parallel computing system is organized and designed. This course is not about parallel computing. So we are not going to see how to use the systems, but we are going to see how these systems are designed and how do they work. So I'm very sure you're going to enjoy the subject and I welcome all of you to take this PCA course. Thank you.